So we're about to jump on a plane to head down to Wagga Wagga. This is where the annual Vet Student Conference is going to be hosted this year. And both Alex and I have been invited to come down and have a chat about some stuff that we're passionate about. Yeah, and we're super excited to meet all the um, vet students, have a chat to them about what their goals and dreams are, and teach them some uh, good skills in emergency. We landed here in Wagga and this is Molly. Hi Molly. Hello. <laughs> so just found out there's going to be 60 students, over 60 students for tomorrow. So really looking forward to that and um, these students are coming from around Australia. So the university here in Wagga um, it has much more of a large animal event meaning that they're producing bits to service our rural industries. So the first off we have a talk on oxygen delivery, so focusing on optimising the respiratory system to help increase oxygen saturations in the haemoglobin. Second is our cardiac output, so making sure that we manage our patient's shock appropriately. Then thirdly increasing haemoglobin concentration, so blood transfusions and things like that. Then in the afternoon is a CPR practical where we'll go through basic life support, advanced life support and the importance of the use of ECG and when to use um, drugs in different relations. So hopefully the students find today exciting. The dogs follow the ball and then somehow orientated so that it actually had to bite the hole straight through. So it, was, it came in breathing through the hole. We actually got the ball out like two seconds later. With these six clinical signs, or well, assessing these six things, you should be able to determine whether or not your patient has signs of shock. Bobby is a 50 kilo breakdown. Presented with a bloated abdomen. Stop making him nervous. I don't, I'm just toying with it. Okay. <laughs> using them so thank you very much for everything in your life yeah thanks guys we could really couldn't do this without you 